Well, this November, you have the chance to decide the future of the leadership in the city of Charleston. There are five people challenging an incumbent mayor, John Tecklenburg, for that seat. Joining me now is Mayor John Tecklenburg, who has been serving the city of Charleston for more than seven years. Thank you, Mayor, so much for being with us. Thank you, Ann. Appreciate so, it. So, you've been in the seat now seven years. Why should people vote you back in again? Well, I love what I do, and I love this city. To think to have a job where you go to work every day and have the opportunity to help people. That just, um, um, it's so meaningful to me. In addition to a heart for service, I um, have a business and science background, and I just like to figure things out and solve problems and uh, kind of grew up in a culture of leave things better than you found them. And um, we're working on a number of great initiatives in the city. We can talk about some of those, and um, I, I, I want to be able to continue this work. All right, so talking about some of those things, leaving it better than you found it, name some things that you have done for the city of Charleston that you say, I did this, I'm leaving the city better off. Well, it's not so much I, I must admit. It's we, it's a team effort. Uh, we have an incredible group of leaders and employees at the city of Charleston and involvement from our citizens as well. It's a real team effort. But um, to speak of a few areas, one would be law enforcement. And, and God rest his soul, my dear friend Luther Reynolds, he did a remarkable job of really transforming the mindset of the Charleston Police Department to be one of community policing and guardianship for our citizens and our property. Uh, you probably saw yesterday I announced that I'm recommending Cheeto Walker as our next great police chief. And so we're gonna continue that legacy and tradition of improving our police department. It's really the one of the best in the United States of America. Uh, we've added resources, fully funding them. Likewise, working with Chief Courier to uh, continue fine work of our fire department. We are fully staffed. Every firefighter position in the city of Charleston is now fully staffed. We're adding new fire stations and improving the ones we have. Um, of course, one topic I like to talk about a lot is drainage and flooding because since the big storms we had in 2015 and 16 and 17 and all the extreme weather that we see, I've really become committed and, and convinced that the existential threat to our city, if you look 50 and 100 years out, mm -hmm. is managing water. Okay, uh, Mayor, something I wanna get to, several of your um, opponents have said that you failed the city when it came to the riots several years ago, that th you didn't do the right thing, you weren't right. prepared to handle the crowds. What would you say to those who's, who have said, you failed the city, you didn't handle the riots properly? We backed up Chief Reynolds and our police department. They fought bravely that night. Yes, there were some lessons learned. Um, no one was hospitalized or killed that night. It was a horrific night for the city of Charleston, admittedly, Ann. But um, I supported our police. I was there with them. Uh, city council met that night. We put a curfew in effect. I called the governor. We got um, the National Guard out right away. And we backed up our police. We backed them up. and. Um, so you didn't see any repeat of that the next night or any time going forward. And unlike other cities in the nation and around the world that were experiencing civil unrest for days and weeks and months on end, um, we, we, we nipped the bud. All right, very quickly, Mayor, what other projects do you have in mind? What else do you wanna do? You're, you say your job is not done. What else do you wanna do for the city of Charleston? So right now, Ann, we have literally over 30 active drainage projects going on in all parts of the city, well over $100 million worth of investment in infrastructure, about half of which, by the way, we attain through a grant uh, grant request from mostly from the federal government. But um, you had the picture up a minute ago of the hospital district. We've opened the drainage tunnel under there protecting the most highest employment district in the city of Charleston. 
We're completing a big project west of Ashley in the Forest Oaks uh, neighborhood, starting one in Shadow Moss and on Johns Island. We're rebuilding the low battery uh, if, uh, perimeter wall down there at the low battery. If you hadn't been down there, you ought to go. Uh, at the same time, we've increased our requirements for future development and changing our zoning so folks will no longer be able to build so much in low-lying areas, so mm -hmm. we're being very thoughtful about the future with more projects to come. All right, incumbent Mayor John Tecklenburg running again for another term for the city of Charleston. Thank you so much for your time and good luck to you. But we didn't talk about parks, all oh, the beautiful parks. We're, we're out building. of time though, Mayor. Thank you so much for your time. And